Hi guys, I'm Kaden, and we're going to be doing Virgo makeup today. For those of you who don't know, we are doing makeup for all of the astrology signs and how they would do it in my perspective, starting with Aries and ending with Pisces. Now, normally this channel is solely about astrology, the ethereal and lifestyle adaptation, but if you enjoy makeup and astrology, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I'm here for you every Wednesday. And before we get into it, shout out to rulingplanets.com. Okay, so in... One of my last videos, we used the Paris soap to kind of lay down our eyebrows. I was using the Elmer's Disappearing Purple washable glue before, and it wasn't really working out for me. But as I started to get annoyed with the soap and how tedious it is to wet it and then put the brush in there and then, and then it dries. So we're just going to do the glue stick because honestly, I found that it is way easier. And if you put enough on there, it does work. So that's what I'm doing. Shout out to Drag Culture for teaching me this. So Virgos are born August 23rd to September 22nd, and their planet is Mercury, just like Gemini's, which means that Virgo's communication is off the charts. Now, I want to emphasize the Virgos that I've met, their communication is not good in terms of confrontation, sharing their feelings towards people they love, such as their best friends, lovers, parents or authoritative figure, etc. Their communication skills do them justice in verbal arguments. They are quick with the comebacks. They are mouthy children, at least the females are. Whereas most Virgo males have very fluent nonverbal communication. I gotta take this off. It's freaking hot in here. Virgos are very good at reading nonverbal communication as well. You don't have to say how you feel. They know how you feel. And they can read you like a book. You really can't fool a Virgo. So you might as well just tell them the truth because they are easy to forgive. As long as you're truthful with them and you pretty much hash it out with them and listen to their point of the view, they're ready to forgive and try again. They do believe that people can change. You just ate food two minutes ago. But if you piss a Virgo off, they come straight for the jugular and they will remember every flaw you've ever done, every secret they've ever held for you, and they will make you feel like absolute garbage. Now, Virgos are naturally not very good at school. They're not very book smart, but they are very street smart and they're very quick learners when it comes to jobs, especially blue collar jobs or really anything that isn't corporate paperwork, office jobs, etc. They like to be hands-on. They don't enjoy a routine that kind of bores them. So a set schedule is not really up their alley, but they're extremely fast learners and they are very exceptional at their jobs. Some Virgos have trouble holding their jobs. They also have trouble finding jobs, but that has nothing to do with the ability of learning a job and how quickly and efficient they can be when they have one. So I know this is an extremely light color, but Virgos tend to go for a more paler look. So that's what we're gonna try to incorporate today. Just gonna blend that in right there. So I don't know what it is about Virgos and their moms, and maybe it's just the Virgos that I know, but I've noticed that a lot of Virgos do not have, I don't wanna say not close relationships with their moms, but they're very, the dynamic of the relationship is very cold. Maybe it's a lot of verbal arguments with their mom. Maybe it's they don't talk too much or they don't share enough information with each other. Maybe they don't respect each other. But the dynamic of Virgos and their mothers is very cold. What I also noticed about Virgos is they're very quiet people. And let me rephrase because there's a lot of loud, obnoxious Virgos that I know. What I mean is they observe. They don't show their true selves to people so easily. Even if they're loud and obnoxious, it's just like a mask. But for people to truly get to know them, it takes a lot. They don't trust just anybody. So whether they're quiet or gregarious, they're always watching the room and feeling out who is chill and who is not in their best interest. That being said, of course, you can imagine they're very critical people. So whoever they're close to, their lovers, their friends, their family are constantly under scrutiny by them. And Virgos are far from perfect, let me tell you. Maybe because they're so imperfect, that's why they are so critical when it comes to the minor details of life. 
because they're very analytical, very detailed perfectionists. And it makes you wonder, when are they going to put themselves under the microscope? One thing I have learned about Virgos is that literally none of you know how to control your liquor. You are so messy when you're drunk. I feel like you have to be babysat. You get drunk way too quick. You can't control yourself. And you're constantly having to be carried around. Why is that, Virgo? Ooh, my eyebrows are looking right. Oh, yes. Elmer's glue. Highly recommend. Feels like I got Botox or something. I'm kind of really nervous to do the eyeliner because I know I'm going to mess it up. What if I did the brow stuff, but on my eye with this angled brush? Then I can control it more, I think. That wasn't a good plan. I can't talk during this part, I'm sorry. I feel like this is not at all what I wanted. I hate this cat eye. What if I made it more exaggerated? This isn't right. This doesn't look equal. See, this is how it starts. I don't know. I'm gonna go over it with liquid eyeliner because this is the closest we're gonna get to decent, okay? In the meantime, I'm just gonna use this cheapo mascara to, cause I need to get rid of it, you know? Okay, so one thing that I've noticed about Virgos is that they don't get along with women. They don't know how to talk to women. Okay, so women Virgos don't know how to have women friends. I don't think it's an intimidation thing. I just think they think that they're the shit and no other girl is the shit. So if they fuck with a girl, like, that is their homie bromie. They are very, very good friends. And she, that woman will support that other woman and love them thick and thin. But in general, they have problems with women. Now, men, heterosexual men, they're like scared of women. I don't know what it is. They have terrible luck in love. All Virgos have terrible luck in love. Nothing ever lasts for them. I don't know why. But marriages, they last a long time. But when it comes to dating, they can never, they can never find the right one and put themselves out there. So they're either bouncing around person to person or they're single for a while. But yeah, if you ever meet a Virgo at work, they're very easy to get along with and super fun to work with. I highly recommend. Virgos are also very loyal to who they're with. They're not ones to cheat on their significant other. But because they're highly critical, a lot of arguments can transpire in that couple. So they really need a strong significant other to understand them and handle them. I dig it. Do you dig it? Okay, so you know how in all my videos you can hear my neighbors like throwing shit against the wall? Well, the other night, they just would not stop screaming and throwing things against the wall from literally 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. And I had work the next day, so did my fiance. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I decided after a year and a half of bullshit every single night, I was going to be petty. So I took our big subwoofer and I put it against the bed, which is where their bed is on the other side. And I put that shit on blast while I was working, but like enough. It wasn't really on blast, but like the base was. So their wall would like rattle and stuff. So they would understand. Cause I'm sure by the time I was up, they were trying to sleep. So I was like, if I can't sleep, you can't either. Anyways, I don't think they cared because they were still fighting all night, so. I didn't get too colorful with Virgo today. I just felt like, so Virgo's colors are navy blue and what's the other one? It's indigo, I think. And I don't think of that color when I think of Virgos. I think of greens and oranges. However, when I think of Virgos, I think of like a simple 1950s cat eye and red lip. Even though a lot of Virgos that I've met, they'll wear like purple lipstick, they'll have like orange bronzer blush thing. Oh, you know what? Oh, would that match? Hmm. Maybe I can do that instead. Maybe I could do orange blush, green contour, but then I'll look like a Christmas tree. I'm confused. I dig it. Okay. Virgo, here we come. Yeah, I like having my lips on first because when they're all like dry and weird waiting for lipstick, it's kind of ugly. Now I have a darker brown I could do. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Let's do a little brown. 
for the contour. This is coming out real nice. Okay. Highlighter. To be honest, I don't really want to put any on. So I'm not going to. So yeah, I actually didn't have much to say about Virgos. They're cool people. They're cool to be around. Definitely have to invite them to your parties. Great co-workers. But yeah, not too much I have to say about Virgo. Virgo. Not too much I have to say about Virgo, to be honest. Oh, one thing, they are kind of clingy people. They're very needy. Except, to be honest, I have a Virgo friend who we could not talk for like months and then pick up where we left off. I forgot she's a Virgo. Yeah, she's been my friend for a very long time. Virgos are lifelong people. Lifelong pals. Oh, you know what? They remember every detail about you. I know I already said that when it comes to like verbal arguments, but as a friend, they remember every detail about you. So they make really good gift givers and they're really good people to talk to about, you know, when things are going wrong in your life because they remember. Personally, me, I forget literally everything. I don't know if it's the Prozac or just me, but I do not remember shit. I'd be a really good person to tell secrets to because I'll forget what the secret was. We look a bad bitch, okay? Virgos are also very aesthetic. I can't talk today. Aesthetically pleasing. They're very good at decorating their home. Very good at planning events. They have a style to them. Every Virgo has their own style and they know that style and they stick to that style and that style is them. Hobbies are also very important to Virgos, whether that is listening to music, going to concerts, smoking, decorating, drinking at wineries, skateboarding. They're very passionate about the things that they love. Art is a big one. A lot of them are very creative people. I think that's why they're really good at hands-on jobs or things that are not, you know, so mundane. This kind of looks like Aries, to be honest. She, I didn't mean for that. Should I add some flair? What if I made the lip a little bit more purple? Wow. Whatever y'all, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I'm gonna put on accessories and the tattoo. I decided to go with under the ear on the neck. I also forgot to mention, cause this tattoo is the symbol of Virgo, which is the Virgin. I don't know why the Virgin is for Virgo. I think it's because not necessarily, <sighs> I think it's because not necessarily that they're virgins, but they are pure people. They don't pretend to be anybody else, you know? Oh, that was supposed to go on the other side. Damn it. It's fine. Whatever. Oh, whatever. All right. So this is the Virgo look. Sorry, it kind of looks very similar to Aries. I honestly didn't mean for that to happen, but it is what it is. But yeah, to just sum it up, Virgos are very pretty people. They have their own style, their own aesthetic for sure. They know what they want in life. They know who they love. Even though they may not have the perfect love story, they are dedicated to their relationships and always trying to be the perfect companion for somebody. Even if that means settling for someone mediocre for the meantime or someone who doesn't reciprocate the love that they give out. Anyways, let me know what you think of Virgo. Next week we'll be booking next week we will be doing libra don't forget to share with your friends i will see you next week